Hi guys, welcome back to Math with James. So today we have to prove this formula for the volume of a sphere. V is equal to 4 over 3 times pi times r cubed. Uh, let me try to make it look like a sphere. I'll try my best. Not a good drawer though. So in order to prove this formula over here, we have to put this sphere into a coordinate. Let me see if I can. So that's the center point of the sphere. This is the x-axis and then this is the y-axis. And the radius of the sphere is r. So basically it's the same as finding the area between the curve and the x-axis and you can slice the sphere into a certain amount of pieces and then you add together to have the whole volume of the sphere. And the more slices you make, the closer the sum of the volumes of the slices will get to the exact volume of the sphere. And then the idea of calculus is that you can somehow slice the sphere into an infinite number of slices, and then you can write it into the form of integrals, right? So that's what we are going to do. All right, so the volume of the sphere can be expressed as the integral from negative r to positive r. So that's the volume. If you look at the slices sideways, you can see the slice actually is a circle. And that circle has an area a. And then the volume is uh, the integral of the area a from negative r to r with respect to the variable x. So we only need to find out the expression for area A. Let me just clear it to make it easier to see the radius of the slice. So if you have a slice over here, and then if you look sideways, it will look as a circle. And we only need to find out the uh, uh, the length over here to be the radius. And then uh, the function of this point over here actually goes with the uh, function of the big round circle x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Actually, we don't need to get y, we only need to get y squared. So y squared should be equal to r squared minus x squared. And then we can plug y squared in this area of ax over here. So this thing actually is the integral from negative r to r of pi times r squared minus x squared, which actually is, you can factorize pi out and then the inside is going to be r squared times x minus minus 1 over 3 x raised to the power of 3 and then you plug r in you get something like pi times r cubed minus 1 over 3 r cubed minus negative r cubed plus 1 over 3 times r cubed sorry and that's the original formula for the volume of a sphere all right guys i'll see you next time take care